I love this idea of order now, and I found this on Twitter. Um, so this post came up from Laura, and she did an order now. So like a must-do, may-do, catch up, mix it up, and then you pick. And again, I just love this idea that I was like, I have to recreate this with using Canva. So I went in, and I did um, must-do, may-do, catch up, just like she did, mix it up. Um, I added a question area. And so what I was thinking is must-do is like, the mustard. Uh, students have to do this. It is required that they complete all of these activities. So again, they have to do the news Ella, they have to do the Flipgrid summary, they have to do eight parts, um, whatever else they have to add to that list. Once that they do that, there's that may do, which is like mayo. And this, they get to pick two. So they come in and they have to pick two of these different activities. So maybe they do task cards and Kahoot. Maybe they do Epic and Kahoot. They, again, they get to pick which ones they want to do. Then there's the catch up. So this is where they do any unfinished work. Students, if you train them, they can go into Google Classroom um, or whatever your learning management system is, and they can make sure that all of those different assignments are completed for the week. Um, once they do that, they're, they're ready to keep going. Um, and again, sometimes you might move this catch up up to the may do. Um, so you might say you have to do these and then you're going to do the catch up and then you're going to do the may do activities. It kind of just depends on um, what you're working on and what kind of your expectations are for your students um, and what the standard is that they're working on. Uh, there's a mix it up. So with the mix it up, students are going to maybe meet with the teacher. Uh, they might have like a hands on activity where they're using maybe like shaving cream or something like that to work on vocabulary or some type of activity. Um, and Laura had that idea with the shaving cream. So I just kind of took her idea because that's a really great idea. And then here it's the you pick. So before they work um, on any of these you pick, they have to meet with the teacher before and they have to kind of create an action plan for how they're going to create um, and use to extend their knowledge. So the you pick is choice. They pick one activity. Um, maybe if they finish early, they could pick another one. Um, but right here, they could create an infographic. Maybe they're designing a t-shirt about the content, creating a game, creating a comic, or maybe they're working on their genius hour. And again, these can be changed in and out. And then maybe you have a question that you want your students to do, or they have questions throughout working through these different boards. They could fill out this Google form and it's gonna force you to make a copy. And whenever students have questions, they can fill out this form and then they can um, have a teacher check in. So you're able to look at the responses on this spreadsheet and then you can pull up students based on uh, their questions. So they can put in that they have a question. They have to use a restroom technology. Uh, they can talk about things that they've tried already and then put their question in. And again, you're looking at the spreadsheet to determine who needs help, what they can do. If they have to use the restroom, you can just say go um, or whatever your operating procedure is for that. Um, so really just kind of looking at that sheet and pulling up students as needed. If you need the template, right here is the Canva version. Um, so you can go in, you can click use this template, and then you can come in here and you're able to um, move things around. Um, maybe you wanna change this to here. Um, so this is the Canva template. And then over here is the Google Slides version. So what I did is I added these on the Google Slide because I, I'm probably gonna update these more often uh, than going into Canva. So again, you're able to go in and change this order if you need to through that Canva. And then I just added this as a background on the Google Slide and then I'm ready to go. So I think this could be a really fun activity for Fridays when you have a lot of different catch up work with different students coming in and out. Um, so again, there's that catch up work and your other students are working on different activities.